Welcome back inside the Friday football frenzy. Now, Fairhaven has established itself as the team to beat in Division Two. The Slaters moving to 5-0 and by edging fellow power Bells Falls on the road last week. Yeah, but after Fairhaven, there's a bunch of three and two teams bunched together in the race for that number two seat. Two of them going head to head tonight. North Country paying a visit to East Montpelier to take on the Raiders of U32. This one, though, was pretty much all Falcons from the word go. Third down for North Country here. Watson LaFoon on the keeper. They'll pick up a huge chunk of yards before being pushed out deep in Raider territory. This is how the drive would end. LaFood play action. He'll look downfield to his left. Pick out Hayden Bovin in the corner of the end zone. He makes the catch, we promise you. NCU up 14-0. Ensuing U32 possession. Michael Mallet up the middle, but oh, need to hang on to the ball. Falcons would fall on it. We're going the other way, and that North Country offense goes right back to work. Justin Young on the handoff uses the plant hand to avoid the stumble. He will rumble inside the 10 before being brought down. LaFoon, he's going to do the rest of it himself. He would score on the keeper. North Country rolling 40 to 6, your final. The Falcons will visit MMU next week. The Raiders will head to aforementioned Fairhaven. Elsewhere in Division Two, Colchester welcoming in Milton. We were scoreless in the first. Jordan Lavoie in the shotgun here, going to toss one up for Mason Cardinal. Cardinal going up, hauling it in, picking up a couple yards after the catch as well. Plenty of contact there to keep the drive alive, but lots of defense in this one. Milton gets the ball back, and they don't go very far. Swarm of Colchester defenders stopping that run before it can even get going. A little bit later, Milton trying to drive again, but this pass picked off by Mason Sheltra. Full extension for the interception. Colchester would take over. And they would score twice in the second half. Two-point conversion good both times to get the win 16-0. Lakers will host CVU next week. Jackets will host Spalding.